Once again, 100.5 Jack FM presents the picture book interview with Chad the Intern. Hello. Hey, it's Lisa Lampanelli calling. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Good. How are you? Excellent. Performing at the Pearl at the Palms, February 13th, 8 p.m. You can go uh, get tickets at palmspearl.com. Uh, when's the last time you were in Vegas, Lisa? Literally one year ago. Uh, so this bumped me up to Valentine's Day because I'm so special and sweet in every way. <laughs> what do you do on Valentine's Day normally? Me? Oh, you know, I like it rough, you know. I like somebody to hit me in the privates with a shovel. <laughs> But you think, yeah, this year I may change it up a little. What do you think? I think, well, you know, that's always a good start. The shovel, I like that, or pickaxe. <laughs> Whatever works. Well, you know what's cool? Actually, you know, joking aside, I'm actually engaged this year for the first time in about 50 years. So uh, I actually have love in my life. You know, I heard, I heard that, and I thought that was just a rumor. So that is true. That is a, not a dirty rumor. It's absolute truth. I'm engaged to a big Italian, and, uh, you know, he's going to come with me out to Vegas, and hopefully he'll like the show enough to not hit me with an open hand, because that's what the Italians do. <laughs> well, congratulations, first of all, but I have to say that um, that kind of goes against your book, Chocolate, ex Please. Ex exactly. I feel like such a liar. I write the book, Chocolate, Please. Now I'm engaged to a white guy. But here's the deal, though. He is Italian. So in most parts of the South, he's still considered colored. So I think we're okay. <laughs> so that book came out uh, September 15th of last year. How's it selling? Really good. I'm so happy because it's a good book. You know, it's funny. It really, reads like Schindler's List, but with a less happy ending. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, and it's adventures in food, fat, and freaks. So uh, uh, I, I get the food and the fat. What's the freaks all about? Oh, everyone I've ever dated until this one, you know? So, yeah, most of the, uh, <laughs> yes, most of the uh, details of my life are in the book. So, definitely, if you want to know, know more about LL, Amazon.com, bitch. So, now, you just kind of open up. I mean, obviously, you're not shy on stage, so I imagine the book is very similar. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, I tell it all. I tell all the details. And it's, it's good because I also go backstage about all the roasts, you know, behind the scenes stories about all the roasts I did for Comedy Central and the Friars Club. So, you know, people get stuff like that. But it, while it is like deep and it's, you know, definitely delves deep into my personality, it's still funny because people are paying for punchlines. They don't want some like Mackenzie Phillips tell all. Besides, my, I wasn't cute enough for my father to have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's truly disturbing. After you know, you watch one day at a time, and you're like going, it's just not the same anymore, you know. Oh, I know. Thank God that's not on Nick at night. I would have to cancel my cable. Now, you know, I was in a meeting uh, the other day with my general manager, and I mentioned that I was going to do an interview with you, and and he said that you were related to Jim Lampley, and I'm like, I don't think so. No, no, I'm not. I'm not related to anybody famous or who could do anything for me. That's why I've had to scratch and claw my way to the top, Mister. So I don't even know who Jim Lampley is. Is that a sort of a football player or something? No, he's a uh, he's a sports uh, uh, analyst kind of guy that's been around for like 30 years and stuff. And I was like, ah, that does not make sense to me whatsoever. But you know what? I'll ask her. What the hell? Because uh, you that's know, right? Yeah, I don't know nothing about any sports except tonsil hockey. <laughs> <laughs> You got a million of them. Um, so, I know, right? Yeah, I'm here all week trying to be home. <laughs> so you're, I, you're on the road. I looked at your website. You're on the road now. Where are you at? Like, uh, Are you going to be in Newark? Is that right? Oh, exactly. No, no. New Long Island. <laughs> Not Newark. New York. Excuse me. Um, Newark, where a bullet is it, beautiful. Yeah, nice place <laughs> to live if you're a bullet. So, no, I'm going to be in Westbury this weekend in Long Island and then uh, coming out to Vegas, man. So uh, I hope everybody celebrates a little pre-Valentine's Day with Lampanelli. Well, I thought you might have been visiting the cast of Jersey Shore. That's why I said Newark. Oh, my God. I know. Is that the best show ever? It's just a train wreck, and, and people love it. it but I, I don't know what it says about our culture that that's like the number one show right now. Yeah, it says we're low life and that I can still sell tickets because those are the type of people who come to my show. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> I think... I'm going to be really offended if Heidi and Spencer don't come to make my show at the Palm. <laughs> Well, maybe 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 Snooky will come by. I, I think you and Snooky would get along really well, actually. We would be so totally best friends. We'd braid each other's hair and go out and you know just pick up those Guido bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I like those orange tans those Guidos have. It's oh beautiful. God. It's very sexy. Well, and the fact that they're always showing off their stomachs. Yeah, we get it. You do crunches. Good for you. That's yeah. enough. Yeah, I mean, my fiance shows off his stomach too, but you know. Well, never mind. <laughs> now, you've done, like, how many uh, roasts have you done? Like, four now? Oh, my God, dude. I must have done, like, five or six for Comedy Central, and then I did a whole bunch, you know, for other networks in the Friars Club. 
And I got to say, dude, the Larry the Cable Guy roast is the last one I did, you know, which was, did you see that one? I missed that one. I, I saw the Flavor Flav one. I saw the Jeff Foxworthy one and the William Shatner, cool. and you, you, you stole the show on all three of those. Cool. Well, thank you. Oh, Larry was great because me and Larry are pretty good friends. And, you know, when you're friends with somebody, you can F with them shamelessly. Sure. So, I, But then, actually, I didn't do the Joan Rivers roast because I thought if I want to roast the slanty-eyed drag queen, it'll be George Takei. <laughs> She's good though, that George Takei. She has a great sense of humor. Seriously, I saw some, I saw Joan Rivers the other. There was like a YouTube video of her commenting on the whole Leno Conan thing, and man, she, the, the plastic surgery thing has gotten way out of hand with her. I know, isn't it horrible? It's like Kathy Griffin's in close second, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. I don't think the, the only thing worst debacle of plastic surgery would be Michael Jackson. I think at this point. Oh. I know. It's like funny because I'm not getting any work done. I don't care. You're a comic. You're funny. We ain't getting parts. Well, we're not Carrie Underwood or this Taylor Swift. <laughs> Calm down. You're funny. Shut up and leave your face alone. Am I right or am I wrong? I agree. I don't. You, we didn't like you because you were pretty to begin with, Joan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You weren't exactly lighting up the screen, honey. <laughs> So speaking of, uh, you've been on Lin I know you've been on Leno a bunch of times, and I don't know if you even want to comment on this or not. But what what do you think of that whole Leno Conan thing? Well, you know what I don't. I watched Leno on uh, Oprah, which is by the way the first time I watched Oprah in five years because that big headed psychosaurus is bugging me lately. <laughs> but I did. I agree with Leno in a way. He was offered a job and he took it. You know what I mean? That's right. what you do. You know. So I don't know. I'm kind of kind of trying to be on everybody's side so everybody will still have me on their shows. So Smart. basically right now I'm sucking up because he's the only one on TV right now is Kimmel and, oh, actually George Lopez. I'm sucking up to that dirty Hispanic. So, you know, <laughs> I figure, hey, between them I'll reach, you know, all the minorities of the world. <laughs> exactly. And uh, who really feels bad for Conan? You get a $40 million out. I mean, it's not too bad, right? Exactly. It's like, wah, wah. I say support George Lopez. He's a migrant worker, for God's sake. The guy's completely broke. <laughs> I actually did his show, and it was so much fun, because that's the only show that, like, blacks and minorities are actually in the audience. Right. I mean, there were so many minorities. I was sweating like Chaz Bono at a pap smear. <laughs> it's horrible. I've Can never... you imagine poor Cher, what poor Cher is thinking right now? <laughs> oh, my God. Chaz Bono and a pap smear. That is, uh, that's, <laughs> that's one of a kind right there. Yeah, that is pretty sweaty, isn't it? Did you just come up with that, or is that in your bag of your repertoire there? No, it's. I just saw a clip of him, and he has a beard now. Did you see that? <laughs> you got to, dude. You got to go on uh, YouTube and see him. He is pathetic. What a beast! No offense, but what a beast! Well, you're not offending me. I don't. That, but I think that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> well, you know, we're all looking forward to uh, coming up February 13th. And I think it's funny. It is the day before Valentine's Day, and what a perfect way to bring in Valentine's Day to go see Lisa Lampanelli, the queen of mean. Do you, do you, you're not offended by that, obviously, when I say that, right? I love it because I'm an insult comic and proud of it, and I make fun of everybody. So if you're not, you know, if you're, you can't take a joke, definitely sit in the back. Because I do them all. Black, white, Hispanic, cornholer, everybody's fair game <laughs> Lisa Lampanelli. Cornhole, is that is that the politically correct way of saying a homosexual? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just came out with that. That's on the top of the list up there with Ass Pirate. They like that, too. <laughs> well, Lisa, thanks for spending time with me. I appreciate it. Performing at the Pearl at the Palms, February 13th. Shows at 8 p.m. You can get tickets at palmspearl.com. And check out insultcomic.com as well or lisalampanelli.com. Thanks, Lisa. Oh, thanks, dude. See you then. You have been listening to the Picture Book Interview with 100.5 Jack FM and Jack TV. Good day.